Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about um, skincare and facial cleanses. So if you're on the hunt for a facial cleanser, please keep watching. I do have six facial cleanses here that I want to talk about today. I do personally have a huge collection of facial cleanses because I think among all different types of skincare products, facial cleanser is um, one which you can really switch up a lot without disturbing your skin barrier. I also don't believe in spending a lot of money on facial cleansers because I don't think they are going to make much of a big difference to your face since you're going to wash them off anyway. So most of the cleansers here today that I'm going to talk about is actually very affordable except for maybe one of them. So before I start, I just want to talk about my skin type. I do have a dry cheeks and oily T-zone and I have a acne prone skin so if I were to get lazy with my skincare routine, I would get breakouts really easily. Because of my skin type, I prefer cleansers that has skin-friendly ingredients, washes off well, and doesn't leave my skin feeling stripped of moisture with the very tight feeling. I'm not going to talk about how well they are at removing the makeup because I always always do a double cleansing so I don't need my cleansers to be good at removing makeup. Let's get started. The first one I want to talk about is the um, Face Theory Cleanser. This is the UK brand and I actually got it because it really reminds me of The Ordinary. It doesn't have like a lot of uh, fluff bullshit ingredients and it's very straight to the point, very simple ingredients. And as compared to The Ordinary, I think this is um, a lot more easier to use, less confusing because you know Ordinary, they do have a lot of uh, fancy chemical names. So you really need to know your chemicals in order to choose the right product to use. But for this brand, it tells you exactly what it does, which I like. It is also more uh, cosmetically pleasing to use as compared to The Ordinary and this is really affordable as well. So I'm just going to talk about the pros of this cleanser first. It does contain a lot of active ingredients like um, BHA and AHA, which is very good for decongesting your skin. But at the same time, the um, level of active ingredients is pretty high. So every time after I finish using this cleanser, my skin just look really glowy. Like I just had a mini um, chemical facial done. So for the cons, this cleanser claimed that it removes makeup. I've actually tried using it to remove my makeup, but it just took ages and it doesn't really remove my makeup well. And because of how um, acidic this is, it can actually cause stinging on your eyes if you want to try to use this to remove your eye makeup. Another point I don't like about this is that it has no foaming at all. So for those of you who enjoy the uh, experience of having foaming cleanser, then this, this is not for you. For people who has not used um, AHA or acidic fruit enzyme products before on your face, this might be really stinging for your face if you want to try it out. So rather as a facial cleanser, I actually use this as a mini peeling facial at home, maybe about um, once or twice a week, especially before my period where I tend to get more breakouts. So the second cleanser I want to talk about is the uh, Fresh Soil Cleanser. Because of how popular this cleanser is, at first I thought it's like really overhyped. Oh, don't push me. At first I thought it's like really overhyped because so many people like it. So I didn't actually commit to buying it until someone gift this to me. I had a try and I actually really like it. I do like the fact that this contains a lot of uh, skin conditioning, plant extracts such as the sunflower oil, soybean oil. It's really gentle, it's perfect for everyday use. It forms up a little, it rinses off really well, really moisturizing. It doesn't leave my skin tight at all. So I do think this is a really good cleanser if you have dry to normal skin. Okay, the next brand I want to talk about is actually Dion Rovex Team. This is a Korean brand that contains hyaluronic acid as one of the main ingredients in all of its skincare products. I do think this is a great dupe for the Soil Fresh Cleanser. The texture and how it feels on the face just feels very, very, very similar to the Soil Fresh Cleanser. So if you want to look for an alternative to the Fresh, then this is a great option for you. This is a gel type cleanser that comes in a pump, which is a lot more convenient to use than the fresh. I also do like that it contains um, a lot of antioxidants and anti-inflammatory ingredients in here such as the grape seed extracts and there are actually three different types of hyaluronic acid in here which is 
very very moisturizing actually I think this is even more moisturizing than the fresh soy cleanser it washes off really well without leaving any residue and I think this is one of the most moisturizing cleanser that I've ever used in my life I don't have any negative things to say about this cleanser other than the fact that you need to pump quite a bit of products in order to create some foam so all in all this is a really really excellent cleanser if you are someone with dry and normal skin you can use this every day it's very very moisturizing and conditioning the next cleanser I want to talk about is a very very popular cleanser that a lot of people have been raving about this is a cream type of cleanser and it creates a lot a lot of foam I think you will rather really like this or hate this depending on your skin type for me personally I really hate it I just think it is so 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 stripping and make my skin just really dry and irritated after I've used it it also contains a lot of um, perfume in here that can be a source of skin irritant this is one of those cleansers that give you that really squeaky clean kind of feel when you when you wash it off the only pro i would say about this is that it really washes off really well and really easily but other than that it is just so stripping and i think it just strips off all your natural skin oils and leave your skin feeling so so tight I'm not sure for oily skin girls but this is definitely not a good cleanser for those with dry or normal skin or even combination I'm usually a person who will insist on finish using a skincare product after I buy it but this is something that I will just leave it there and not use it because I just hate it so much Next one I want to talk about is this Funkale I'm not sure how to pronounce it Funkale Age care washing cream so this is a Japanese brand that used to be really really popular in earlier 2000s before K-beauty came out I just think uh, Japanese skincare products they deserve a lot more credit than it actually is because even before you know even before everyone has been talking about clean beauty fragrance-free simple products Japanese skincare has already been doing it since a long long time ago this brand they are really famous for the, uh, the powder wash but I got this one instead because I thought it would be more moisturizing since it's made for Asian care what I like about this is that it contains a lot of very very interesting Japanese herb ingredients one of them is the uh, fermented pear fruit which is a skin conditioning ingredient and another one is the uh, rosemary leaf extract which is anti-inflammatory there is also zero preservative in here which makes it 100% safe for pregnant ladies to use but one downside will be that you will need to finish this product within the recommended three months usage the foaming level for this one is uh, one level up the fresh and the robectane ones so it forms up really easily and well it washes off really easily as well without leaving your skin feeling stripped or dry I do actually highly recommend this for someone with a dry normal or combination skin so the last place that I want to talk about is by Wish Trends, the green tea enzyme cleanser. This is actually a powder type of cleanser that you pour into your hand and then add a little bit of water in here. Yes. Actually, the only con about this is that you need to be really careful about how much water you add in here because if you add too much water, it can actually cause all the powders to just for and then you'll be wasting your product this actually um, feels really really similar to the uh, Funkel one just that this is a little bit stronger because it contains the uh, papaya enzyme for you to exfoliate your skin gently so if you do really want to do a chemical exfoliation on your skin but you are scared that AHA or BHA might be too strong for you then this is a really great option because it's really gentle and it actually does do a little bit of decongestion for your skin when initially applied on your face, it actually has these small granules but it actually will disappear within a few seconds it does have foam as well but not too much so it's really ideal for me and because it's in the powder form, I think it's really convenient for you to bring on your travels without spilling it the entire ingredient list is just really simple with few ingredients but very straightforward and clean 
it washes off really well it doesn't leave my skin feeling tight and it has a beautiful mild green tea latte smell you actually only need a little bit of powder to work with so one bottle of this i think it's gonna last you a really long time as compared to those the gel and cream type of cleansers so to keep my skin in tip-top condition i actually use either one of these for my daily cleanse and i will alternate between maybe once a once or twice a week of this and once a week of this to provide a greater exfoliation so in conclusion it's so important to find a great cleanser that removes all the pollutants on your skin without disturbing your skin barrier so it can aid the absorption of your skincare products later on i do hope you find this video helpful in picking a skin cleanser that suits you and i will see you guys soon